You want to learn more about the entire lore of Underworld, but you don't know where to start? You don't want to delve into the light novels because you don't want to read an entire story just to catch on the details and inner workings of the world? I got exactly what you need! Welcome everyone, it's me GamerTurk, your best source of Sword Art Online information, and today I'll be talking about something that many players of Sword Art Online Illustration Liquoris don't even know exists, so buckle up, hit the subscribe and bell icons for more in-depth coverage of SAO, and don't be shy on becoming a channel member to support what I do here. So of course, from the get-go, I have to point out the obvious. If you want to know absolutely everything possible, reading the light novels is the way to go. Otherwise, my Illustration Explained videos is a good alternative to cover what the anime has not, but the level of detail I go into varies based on how much importance I see in a specific detail, since I try not to have overblown videos. Sword Art Online Wikia of course exists as another free outlet for all these kinds of information, but the way we structure information on the Wikia is on a need to know basis since we aim to provide summaries of events, so a lot of irrelevant background details are always omitted, something Fox and Anime did not know when he was reading our chronologies to make his own videos and decided to pull a lot of shit out of his ass, but there is one more avenue for all the information you need and dare I say it is potentially the most efficient avenue to learn about as much of Underworld's inner workings as possible in a way that the characters themselves are explaining it all to you. This amazing feature exists in Sword Online Illustration Licorice, the fifth game in the Sword Online Gameverse, and most players don't even know it exists, and most of those that do, don't actually know what kind of an information it provides, let alone providing information. Now, you see, Sword Online Illustration Licorice is a game with a massive story. So large that the developers did everything in their power to trim away as much content as they could from the main campaign. But they were aware of the importance of a lot of this information, so they had an idea. What if they were to cut out huge portions of exposition that they were either adapting from the novels or had created to provide basic world building information to the player from the campaign offering? That would admittedly be a massive improvement for a majority of the players who naturally just want to play a damn game rather than read a story for 5 hours non-stop for details that they may not even be interested in. So that was exactly what they did. A lot of these world building details and exposition was completely cut off from the course of the main campaign, but they were not cut out from the game itself. As you can imagine, whenever you make decisions like these, it's always a double edged sword. You have too much world building and lore, and one half of the community just throws up their arms in protest crying out that they do not care and they just want to play the damn game. You cut away the world building and lore to give them more playtime compared to the story portion and the other half of the community throws up their arms in protest as to how important information no longer exists and they are frustrated that they cannot learn more about the world the game takes place in. And for some reason, it's always a surprisingly little amount of developers who come to the realization that they can just make the world building information completely optional. And when building Illustration Liquoris, Akuria was one of those rare people who were aware they could exactly do that. And thus, they created a special location for you to access every kind of information you may need. Your own personal desk you can find in your tent once you clear chapter 1 of the game features everything you need to know on this aspect. Aside from being able to create your custom character, changing difficulty and viewing the lackluster and generally unhelpful tutorials of Akuria, there are two other features that are absolute treats for you lore people out there, both for those who want to have a basic idea and for those who want to have everything covered in depth. First off is the encyclopedia. Now, this is your casual friendly information center. If you want to know the basics, but do not want to be drowned in information, simply go through the encyclopedia here. This feature is a collection of all the people, locations, items, concepts of Underworld presented to you in simple 2-3 to three sentences for you to easily digest in short card format. Just look at the headers, titles, find what you're looking for and get the basic idea of what that thing is. You wanna know what Deep Freeze exactly does? Well, as you saw, it puts others into a sleep as if they were turned to stone and can only be used by high tier spell users and you can use a specific sacred art to reverse its effect. Who's Berkuli exactly? He is the first integrity knight and his sword is the time splitting sword, a divine object. 
He is also the hero featured in the Rulid lore of Berkuli and the Northern White Dragon. Some of these information cards are also regularly featured on your loading screens in slightly different variations, also depending on how much you progress throughout the story, which is a nice way to present it to people who don't have better things to do during the lengthy loading screens, especially considering Akuria is refusing to provide a next-gen patch to shorten them. Now of course, since the SEO Gamers is a separate continuity from the main canon, having branched off on the 75th floor of Aincrad where players had to clear all the remaining 25 floors and Yuki never died and Shinon and Lifa entered SAO etc. Not all of these cards are entirely canon, but if you have the basic knowledge of the main canon, you can easily spot what is canon information and what is not. To give you a hint, anything that contradicts the main canon is non-canon. For example, SAO Incident states, on release, the VRMMO Sword Online trapped its 10,000 players in a death game orchestrated by the developer Kayaba Akiko, the incident took over 4,000 lives, shaking the world. This is obviously canon. If you look at Shilika, it states, uses the high-level account Sage, which is a game original development, as in the main series, she just converted her Alo avatar into a Lissization. But on that specific topic, these cards also give you a great opportunity to catch up on the differences between the main canon and the SAO gamers. For example, some loading screen variations for Leaf and Shinon highlight they are SAO survivors, because they indeed joined SAO after Floor 75 and technically did help clearing it in this specific timeline. If you watch the anime, you will pick up some additional information here and there through these encyclopedia entries. However, if you want to get into the nitty gritty, the real treat is the feature called Recollections. Now, these are what I mentioned earlier full information-oriented scenes about the world, about its inhabitants, about specific characters, about the systems involved, and most importantly, some scenes directly adapted from the light novels at times to give an incredible insight on these lovely characters and their thought process, all of which are things the anime adaptations absolutely hate and never portray. For example, you want to learn more about the Taboo Index in a very detailed way, which rules exist, which rules supersede other rules, and how they all tie together, well, lucky for you, Kirito decides to ask Yuji all about it for an extensive explanation from him. You want to know how Underworld came to be, how Quinella rose to power, how Carnal tried to kill her multiple times before she had her own body, etc. Well, Kirito sits down with Carnal as she explains every single detail there is to know about the creation of the world and how things came to what they got to now. You want to learn about the variety of sword styles and sword skills or every single combination of sacred arts and possibilities? Tune into Kirito and Yuji prep for an upcoming exam as they go through all of that, what their advantages are, what their disadvantages are and all that lovely stuff. There is an incredible amount of content here for all lore nerds who want to learn more about the series, presented with fully voice acted visual novel style in incredible detail. Of course, the same issue mentioned in the encyclopedia exists here too, some events do contain Gameverse original content. I mean, Kirito and Yuji are talking about individual sword skills is also original content, but it's there to provide much needed exposition. But again, distinguishing what is canon and what isn't never really becomes a problem when you look from an information point of view. And there is an incredible amount of information here to go through. If you do not own Elicitation Licorice, don't worry, I do have an extensive playthrough of the game here on my channel and at the time of this video, I uploaded about half the recollections there are and will continue to upload them, so worst case scenario, you can just enjoy them through my videos, you know, check my Elicitation Licorice playthrough playlist, which is actually the best case scenario for me, so you can indeed do that, you know, watch my videos, give me those views, thank you, hope you enjoy. But as always, I would always encourage you to read the Sword Online light novels yourself, you can find the Amazon and Book Depository affiliate links down below in the description and pinned comment. If you wait two more days, Amazon Prime is coming. It's just right around the corner, so you may even find great deals. You know, just check that Amazon link specifically, put things into your wish list, and wait, wait for that Prime Day in two days. But as always, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more in-depth Sword Online coverage and news. Consider becoming a channel member to get access to a special badge and exclusive emotes to use. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook for faster news access, plenty of beautiful merch available on my Teespring page, with special discounts available for channel members and patrons, who I salute for supporting my channel directly. Thank you. Until next time, keep your head.